What's going on guys, if you're watching this video, then the Here Comes the Sun collection by Alfley is now live. Be sure to click the link in the description box, get your hands on some ombre amplify leggings, some seamless tops for men and women, and our new fleece sets. Everything is limited edition, everything is super low quantity, and we are expecting many pieces to sell out, so be sure to go snag one if you want. Now, with no further ado, I want you guys to sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. What's going on guys, welcome to Summer Shredding 2022, The Return, this is episode nine. I wanted to start the video off with a quick grocery haul. We just went to Whole Foods to pick up some items. This isn't everything that uh, is gonna like fully stock us, but just some things I was out of. So, gonna open bag by bag. First we have baby spinach. Okay, uh, love throwing this in my eggs. I eat a lot of spinach um, during prep. Add some French green beans, very small packet of that. It's like five dollars some more broccoli salt doing this almost like as a base with a rice bowl if you do like beef or like whatever you do it just adds volume super super handy i've got some green peas to throw in a pan as well watermelon blackberries blueberries if i were to pick like one fruit that i love during prep it would be blueberries i love them with oatmeal and they're pretty good volume kiwi not great volume, but tastes fantastic and nutrient dense is super packed um, with vitamins and minerals. So that's that bag. We've got sweet potato. I love this sweet, sweet potato because it cooks in like three, four minutes uh, and you are good to go. Sorry, five to six minutes and you are good to go. 45 grams of carbs for the whole bag, six grams of fiber. So a bunch of those. We got some baby carrots. I am annihilating carrots this prep. Red onion, white onion. I feel this is your can was cantaloupe. Yeah. I never had cantaloupe. Got some hot salsa there. Some more watermelon, more green peas. As you, can, as you can see, like the veggie, as I go through prep, you get deeper, deeper. Veggie intake goes up. Really, the purpose is to help satisfy you, to help sustain you, uh, give you fiber, and just like make you feel better and more satiated throughout prep. That's bag number two. Bag number three, we have two pounds of deveined shrimp, $25. For two pounds of shrimps. Got some more cold brew, the uh, vanilla flavor of that. We got some honey roasted turkey breast right there. A new jar of pickles, because I love pickles during prep. Pineapple. This is like so much healthier than I normally go to the grocery store when I'm like not taking it so seriously. Jasmine rice. I'll tell you where I fucked up last time, guys. Last time I went and I bought this basmati rice, but it, it just doesn't do the, it doesn't cook the same in the rice cooker like Jasmine does. It's a lot fluffier. I made a mistake with basmati. Maybe I'm cooking it wrong, I don't know, but gonna be doing the jasmine from now on. Some Nando's. I never tried the bottle here, but love Nando's. I've uh, got the medium flavor, more sweet potato, more sweet potato, more sweet potato. I will say like the, I wish I could always have rice, but I really tend to, as I get deeper, really stick to like oatmeal, I stick to sweet potato because they fill me up more. There's more fiber and it just like, satisfies you more. I could eat like I could eat so much rice if I wanted to, and it doesn't like do that for me, but every once in a while some rice is okay. I also got three containers of this thin sliced, boneless, skinless, organic chicken breast. I did pay the extra dollar because they're thinly sliced. Okay, cook faster. Time is money. Or you could just cut them yourself and make them thinner, I guess. But marketing got me. That's the entire grocery haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you stick around. Like the video, subscribe, <laughs> blah blah blah. Sit back, relax. And let's get it started. Hey! I'm dynamic. I'm dynamic. Hey, you gotta stay right there. Ha! <laughs> what makes noise? Because he opens. <laughs> what? Man. <laughs> you go again? It was a good Close the mask. Close. Dang it. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see a mask. Ready, babe? <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, wait, oh, yeah, okay, I can see. Can go, hey. Hello, Jarvis. Oh, Open wow. You can you see me? What? Isn't it cool? What? And you can go close a mask. You know, we're about to make some videos. Uh, <laughs> you need to hop into R8 right now. Combat mode. Oh, it is. Oh, it's scary. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Open the mask. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, put it on. Oh man. <laughs> we can take off the sides if you need to, to get in there. Yeah? There we go. Okay, now you gotta say it. Open the mask. Wow. <laughs> Close the mask. 
Can we go to the meeting like this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I would appreciate Open the mask. So, yeah. Wow, that's so sick. <laughs> Hello. Get a big head. Ooh. Or Jarvis, office. close the mask. What's up, Andy? <laughs> you want to show Anthony? Hey, man. <laughs> What's up? How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, how do you think today went? They don't know what today, how did it go? We made a lot of progress. Looking back, a pretty important day. Big decisions. Future milestones decided. She just went right underneath, that felt a little <laughs> weird. <laughs> a little weird, Ava. <laughs> Sold the house this morning officially. I wanted to say goodbye. I saw. Yeah, I didn't know the trees were so big. You can't see the house anymore. Really? Yeah, it's like covered in trees. Hola, como estas? <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by 3D Energy, Energy Felt. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to the fucking video. We've already said that like 10 times this video. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another commentary. Today I'm going to take you through my recent pull day. So we hit back and bicep and everything I'm going to show you and talk about, every exercise we're doing between three to four sets and between really between like 10 to 15 ish repetitions, uh, kind of depending. So the first movement I want to talk to you guys about is the hammer strength high row. Now the key here and something I don't think a lot of people do is setting up properly. Like for me, I have to pretty much put the bench all the way down, uh, in order to be sure that like when I'm fully stretched, I'm not already like hitting the top of the machine. So be sure you kind of feel out where that's that, that point will be for you. For me, I put the bench very, very low. Uh, second movement, we moved on to a uh, fairly wide grip pull down, lat pull down. Um, main tip here, you really don't want to lean backwards as you're pulling down too much. It's natural to use a little bit of motion. You don't want to get into this groove and this rhythm where you're really kind of coming back. I like to kind of try to stay upright, maybe shift like 15 to 20% as you're pulling down, just so you can really focus on bringing that bar towards the top of your chest. You really, I mean, I can't like touch the bar to my chest, but you want to kind of think about driving your elbows down right elbows back 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 bar to the top of the chest in your head and almost like emphasize that motion in order to squeeze the lat and build that width on your back next movement we're going to talk about is going to be the underhand barbell row now this movement underhand overhand whatever you're doing is honestly like really really great and under it's not underrated it's just like it's one of the bread and butter movements and i feel like a lot of times people just sort of ignore the bread and butter movements you don't have to get fancy with it or complex just do what fucking works and get better at them over time with your form um here you can see when you're doing this, you really want to focus on bringing the bar without like scraping the bar against your knees and against the top of your thighs. You want to bring your elbows back and you want to bring the bar up towards your belly button. Uh, another important thing as I'm descending here, so like I pick the weight up and as I'm coming down to get into position, I do that very, very slowly. And I almost like accentuate how slow I go because I want to be sure like everything in my midsection and my, my, my stomach, my, my, my back, I'm all, I'm just extremely tight and secure. Um, cause the last thing you want to do, and this has happened to me before, like years ago, uh, just like kind of getting into position and not staying really tight. And all of a sudden you like, oh, you tweak your, you know, your back. And I've actually gotten a pinched nerve from doing that before. So be very careful with that. But once you like get into position and you're locked in, you feel like unstoppable. So it's awesome. Um, so yeah, that was actually very simple back workout. Like as far as, you know, movements, we just did the high row lat pull down and then underhand barbell row. And then we moved on to our bicep portion of the workout, which is actually a superset. So we're doing a reverse grip easy bar, which is really going to focus on the brachioradialis, um, the brachialis and kind of like the forearm muscles as well as that little, the, the part of your bicep, which it's like a little, it's hard to explain, but, um, yeah, this is a great movement to kind of build all of that. You want to keep your thumbs over the bar and you want to, again, flex your tricep at the bottom of the movement. When you flex the tricep at the bottom, that just ensures that you get a four inch of motion and you actually have like a full stretch in your bicep when you hit that, you know, contraction on your tricep. So there, superset with a, uh, both arms at the same time, 
um, dumbbell curl. Now here, I like to start with the neutral position at the very bottom, and you can see I'm using a little bit of momentum, but I'm not swinging my back backwards. So you want to start neutral, and you want to bring pinky, 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 out, 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 out. Like this, you're supinating as you're coming up, and you are squeezing. Here you can see Kelsey doing it a different way, where she's just keeping her uh, supinated grip the entire time, which is also totally okay. Um, honestly, it kind of varies with like how I'm feeling the day of what I want to be doing, but whatever you do, I would recommend keeping it consistent for all your sets for that day. Final movement, we did a three sets of 20 to 25 reps of the prisoner back extension. I call it prisoner because you have your hands on your head, <laughs> you know, so like you're going to prison. <laughs> Just body weight here. You want to be sure that you don't like over you don't want to go like this, you just want to go ahead and keep your head neutral and you just go to like where your glutes are flexed. Um, you're not like overextending um, or hyperextending, whatever it is there. Um, that's a good example here. So that is the entire workout, very simple. We're doing three back movements, four sets at a time, and then you go into a uh, bicep superset, the reverse grip with the dumbbell curl, and then you just do your prisoner back extensions and you are done. So effective, simple, and easy. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Be sure to like it if you are and sit back for the rest of it. Weird. <laughs> Peace. What's up, hey, man. What's up, how's your day going, man? It's good, productive yeah. day, yeah. Yeah? How's your workout? It was pretty sh pretty decent. <laughs> pretty, sh pretty shitty decent. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, Elements, by the way. Are you? Wow, is this in stock? Is this in stock? It is in stock. Yeah, yeah, wow. you can click the link in the description. First. Holy shit. The color's called light blue, if you were wondering. What's your new tattoo, man? What, new tattoo? Yeah, I've got a couple, you know, here, here. Yep, yep. This is from my hospital visit. It's not coming off. Like this shit. Oh, yeah, my dog here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alpha I got a six tattoo too. You want to see? All right, right. <laughs> oh! Six. You ever heard of this? Never. Fucking. You played this? You didn't play this at Cody and Cambria. They have a Christmas song that the band used to be, the Mondays used to cover. The Mondays. Yeah, bro. The fucking Mondays. Did you get a lot of pussy in the Mondays? I did not. No. <laughs> Actually, zero. Yeah. It's okay. My girlfriend thought the band was lame. <laughs> That's why she's my ex. <laughs> <laughs> so sick. This is like my theme song for when I'm like feeling motivated. Whoa! Here it comes! It's insane. That, that's real fucking music. Nah, I shorty got a bitch. We are just now up. I'm six foot. It's a big fucking <laughs> It's a big mirror. <laughs> What's up? Oh, Hi. Oh, here, bro. She was singing for me too. She was cuddling with mom outside on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> No. Every macro, this, my friends, is 300 grams of white rice, 11 and a half ounces of chicken, two servings of peas and carrots, which I'm not gonna count into my macros, one whole egg. That looks delicious. A little stir fry using some liquid aminos, which is pretty much like a soy sauce replacement. That's all mine. I'm like, that looks incredible. It's a lot of food. Eating like a king. <laughs> 10 weeks down. And pro tip in order to make yourself like be happier, all you need to do is don't eat the whole thing in one plate. Go ahead and like split up the plates. Feels like you're getting like seconds and thirds and all that. You know what I mean? Trick yourself. 15 out of 10. Delicious. I'm obsessed now. I can't wait to get that. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day two of the vlog. I wanted to show you guys breakfast this morning. Five egg whites cooked with some sauteed white onion, one serving of the chicken maple sausage little links, three pieces of maple turkey bacon, and these are my last three slices of that um, swirl bread, like the cinnamon uh, maple, I really like maple. The little swirl bread, which I highly recommend. I didn't think I'd like them as much as I do because they're kind of small, but they are dense. I went through the whole loaf of bread, which I never do, like ever. But that is breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and put some smuckers, sugar-free strawberry jam uh, on the bread and kind of do like my little egg with a little piece of bread with a little bite of turkey. Repeat, we'll see you next clip. Like, why you gotta say it like that? Smuckers? <laughs> what do you mean? And maple smuckers. And good morning, bitches. Yeah.
Did make it feel weird? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Legs, man, have another nine and a half weeks left. Whew. How are you feeling, Christian? Huh? How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to do. Try my fanny pack. All the action I need in here. Yeah. All my tools. Some discipline. <laughs> I found some dedication. I found some motivation. Yeah. <laughs> right there. You know, normally my eyes would be hurting working in this dark room looking at these monitors for hours, but thanks to these movement blue lens of glasses, I, I, my eyes couldn't feel better. I've been working with movement for over seven years now. I was one of the very first people to like work with the brand as like an ambassador and truly like the product that, that they came out with, the blue lens technology and these glasses, the Everscroll technology, that essentially blocks out 90% of the blue light that comes from monitors and screens. It has absolutely been my favorite product for years now. So they come in the, this movement case, just like this. It's like soft touch black case. You open them up. On the inside, it'll tell you which model they are. So these are the ritual uh, shape, which are pretty much like this like boxy kind of square like shape. And join the movement on this other side right there. Really nice quality. Um, they're set. They're seventy eight dollars. The ones I'm wearing are seventy eight dollars online. But if you use code CG, the first link in the description box, that saves you fifteen percent off any purchase or movement. So they come out to be yeah less than seventy eight dollars, about fifteen percent less I would say. Definitely a good product to have, especially if you like to work at night or if you like to work in the dark like I do, even though it's a beautiful day outside, use that link, use that code, and get you some blue light glasses. Yeah. That's good. Thanks, man. Yeah. Today is Rebecca's birthday. We go say happy birthday. You look cool. Yeah? Yeah. Don't forget, code CG saves you 15%. Yeah. Do my laser big? What? Do my laser big? Yeah. You know, it's a lot. Yeah, no. Yeah. Hey, man. Your quads are like jiggling as you walk. walk. Why are you walking like that? I'm just saying, I'm saying your quads are jiggling as you walk. Oh, fuck yeah, they are. Here, what, what am I, am I walking here? A little bit. Mm. That's what happens when you have so much style. Rebecca's birthday. How old is Rebecca today? No, I, I don't know how old Rebecca is. So I, mean, I, I, I think I know how old she is. I don't want to say it on camera, though. Oh. The world never knew. Wow, look at this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I know he's like an idiot now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can you get me one? Yeah. I'm putting on. Right, <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? It did. He's hard. He goes, hey, like I can't unplug my <laughs> laptop. Like it won't. It's That's stuck. I'm a bad liar. I'm trying to figure out. What did you say? You're super just the strongest person that I have. Wow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I'm gonna go get some plate and nod really quick. It's abstract. <laughs> you like my. Yeah, I love it. Hi, the My car right now is. Now we're gonna head to the next clip, right? <laughs> oh, it's doing good. Oh, yeah. Transition to the next clip. You're so like wide up top and then you just narrow down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we just finished up the leg workout. I am currently 65 days out from the competition from stepping on stage again uh, for the first time in three years. So this is how I'm currently looking for this leg day. Here's just like me standing straight. Here's a side oblique. Arms. Yeah. 
that's where we're at, man. Here's the legs. They're kind of pumped, so they're probably like less lean than they would normally kind of look. Definitely have like a long way to go, but I feel like anytime you're in a prep, you kind of have like a moment where you're like, fuck, like I see it now. And I'm not quite there, but I can tell I'm starting to get to that like moment. Cause like you start to really, once you lose that like that layer of just like kind of fat and like, I, I, I can tell I'm really trimming down. And after you trim down certain, to a certain point and get rid of the excess, it's like all of a sudden in like a 10 day time period, boom, it just snaps. When you go from like tight to just like that part, it's coming up soon. So really can't wait for that. Can't wait to get like a new profile pic for my IG. You know, <laughs> uh, that's what this whole prep is all about. Yeah. Heidi has a photo shoot with sour strips. Apparently she's like, they're, they're doing like an Easter thing. So they're, Heidi's dressing up like a bunny or something. Yeah, like that guys. Show us your studio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to my studio. There it is. You can shoot photos and stuff in it. Look at this drawing. That's the before. <laughs> is that me? That's me? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> this looks just like me. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the scenes of Sour Strips, um, we take this environment that may not look like much to most and we turn it into a magical experience for the end consumer of our content. Dude, okay, I need like Christian's channel. I think this is a cute dress for like a for like an Easter girl. Every girl that's seen it is like, I would never wear that dress. Literally never. I think Taylor would look lovely in this, and she's like, Taylor wouldn't wear that. It, I think it's like show up at Easter with this. That's nice. I like it. I'd wear it. Did you did you buy it? No, it was just like someone like one that Cali had. I think I think it's a cute dress. <laughs> Oh my God. Did you get these? No, well, yeah, she was like, do you want one for you, Nabil Kelsey? I was like, how about you bring two? Uh -huh. Not for me, but here you go. Bro, just give it a smell. Give that a whiff. Oh my God. Kelsey, smell this. Kelsey. Smell Are they just chocolate chip? Do you, I, I need to tell you something. Did you know that you can save 15% off those glasses? Oh, they're not movement? Yes, they are. Oh, they are movement. They are movement, yes. 15% off using code what? CG. Link. In the bio. Description. Yeah. Description. Oh, oh it's yeah. the video. Sorry. You smell great here. You guys go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> You're just eyeballing me. <laughs> one bite. No, I'm, I'm good. I right, one bite. I can't really spit. No, I can't. Right, I'm good. Really good. No, I'm not weak. Remember you guys uh, like a year ago? <laughs> Y'all's goals a year ago. Remember? <laughs> That's your goal too. I failed too. I did fail. I did fail. 2022 is the year. It's okay. Yeah. Discipline's forever. And motivation is temporary. Yeah. So. Oh, that's a cool one, that's dude. Once fish. he gets bigger and like colors up more, he's gonna look crazy. He's Whoa. a that's he's a, a sick fish. He's a blue jaw trigger. Whoa. Yeah. That's a cool one. <laughs> Diamond goby. Where's that one? Oh, that's is he tiny or? Oh wow. It's see through. Yeah. He'll get bigger too. So cool. He'll go around the bottom and like sift through the sand and stuff. He's oh, really cool. Yeah. You know, these quads don't lie. No. Like Shakira's hips don't lie. Yeah. These quads do not lie. No. Mm. Today, I was definitely have a lot of work to do, but I just don't feel like being in the office. I'm gonna go home and do my work. <laughs> so, yeah, because I can fucking do that. <laughs> Perk of owning your business. I even think I might do my cardio like early today, like soon. I'm, I'm really trying to like not worry about my weigh in so much because I've definitely I've been tending to eat a lot more of my food like later in the day, and I'm just um, I get way too caught up in the weigh in. So, I'm, I'm still weighing myself and writing them down. I'm just like not in the back of my head. A big reason why I like to do cardio late at night is to like have a good way in, but maybe I just don't give a fuck, you know? Yeah. I just don't give a fuck anymore. I, it's, it's, the same, it's the same shit. Like my body doesn't give a fuck how much it weighs. It's like all about how it's looking, so yeah. As, long, always, as long as you're getting it done, you know? Yeah, as long as, literally as long as your cardio gets done, then it gets done. Guys, it, it's, it's time, it's time to get after your fucking goals. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it does. Here, maybe like, it should be good, right? Yeah. How do you make it not like? So this whole thing has to move. <laughs> okay, you're good. Yeah, this should be a problem. Should I just, should I just, you know, it looks like a bitch. Mic check, mic check, one and two, motherfuckers. And put your hands in the air if you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the master class. What have I learned? 
let me tell you guys. You know how when you're talking to like an older business guy or something who, who is like established and they have like years of experience and stuff like that. Trust me, I've been in like a lot, a lot of meetings with a lot of these types of people, right? Like just bankers and and you know investors, all the financial like advisors, all this kind of stuff. And like they always talk about making your money work for you and using the you know never spend your own. I'm like, how the fuck am I not going to spend my own money? Like, like come on, like you know, just get to. Like, I never really understood the kind of concept, right? And I think, well, I know that now I do because <laughs> they were right all along. So if you guys are like me, I don't know, it just sounds kind of like, okay, well, what the fuck do I need to do? Like, can you just like do it? Like, like, I don't know. I've definitely had a lot of those conversations, you know? I'm gonna show you guys how exactly it worked for me, but I just got approved just like a few days ago from my bank for $7.7 .7 million. A line of credit for 7.7 .7 million, um, which is fully thanks to the property for Alphaland, which I just want to kind of break down for you guys how that works and why investing into a physical asset like Alphaland, literally like it was so much that went into it, but now that it's like come full circle and I'm going to kind of explain it here on this whiteboard. So uh, hopefully you guys can take something away from this. We're going to flashback to 2019. Okay. So December, in December, 2019, the Alphaland property was appraised at $10 million. Okay. Now after negotiations, what did I end up paying for the property? So in February, I can't say that word. <laughs> February 2020 is when I officially bought the property and I ended up paying my total price was $8.5 million. They were asking for like 11 and after months of negotiation, that's what we landed at was 8.5, 8.5 million. Now, when I was negotiating with the bank at the time, all I had asked for, I guess like renovations and for upgrades was going to be $1 million. Looking back at that, I really wish I would have asked for more because they were very quick to approve the 1 million, but I did ask, okay, it's a little low, I have to get them. 1 million for renovation. So this means my total banking costs here, what am I going to borrow from the bank to pay? Because I can't pay $9.5 million in cash, right? We have 9.5. Now, in order to have the bank fund this, I had to put 20% down. Just like when you go get a car, when you go get a house, you typically, if you don't have the best credit, you're putting a higher percent down uh, on the total value. So for here, 20%. So this is pulling out the cash and putting that big chunk down, you know, getting the mortgage, getting all like the monthly payments sorted. So 20% of 9.5 million is a lot of fucking money, <laughs> 1.9. So, so far we have an appraisal of 10 million, 8.5 million for the property. I asked for $1 million from the bank for renovation. So you add that together, you get 9.5 million. Now my down payment was 20%. So I gave them a check for 1.9 and all of a sudden the property was mine. Now, how did I get to receiving 7.7 .7 million? That's the next phase of this conversation. So I'm gonna erase this and we'll move on to phase two of this phase two of the conversation. So just last month, so March, 2022, 27, 28 months after the original appraisal, right? We got another appraisal and guess what guys? In that 27, 28 months, uh, just, this is just like the exterior of the property, the parking lot, the building, the structure, like all of that, that we have done to the property, not including furniture, gym equipment, or anything on the insides. This is just the outside. The 18 and a half acre lot, went from $10 million to $17 million value of the appraisal. So that means in that 27, 28 month time frame, we increased the value of the property by $7 million. I'd be lying if I said I was expecting that, but that absolutely like opened up a lot of doors here. So how does the line of credit go about? Essentially a line of credit is when the bank, not an investor, no outside funds or anything have to come in. You don't have to give any sort of like percent of the company, nothing like that. This is just a line of credit based off of the property. So we take the, how do you get that number? We're going to go 17 million, which is a new appraisal. We're going to subtract the amount owed for me. That was like 7.35, 17 million minus 7.35 million is what I owe. That comes out to what, Nabil? 9.65. So this is going to equal $9,650,000. Now, a line of credit, they're not going to give you 100% of that. They're going to give you 8% of that. Usually between, they're going to give you between 70 to 80% of this value for your line of credit. We received 80% after some negotiation. 
7.72, boom. So essentially the beautiful thing about this line of credit, I can use those funds at any moment for any company underneath my holding company. So we have Alpha Athletics, we have Alpha, uh, we have Odelia Properties, which is like Alpha Land. We have all of these companies that essentially filter up to my, the Mac Daddy. Okay, because this line of credit is underneath that Mac Daddy, I can use and distribute into any organization that I need to. So if I need to go buy, if I want to get ahead on shipments and buy more clothes, more down, more down, you know, down payments for deposits for future orders. Or if I want to use the funds for something more consistent, like your operating costs at Alfland or payroll, whatever that may be, I can dip into this for a, for a, it's a 4% interest rate. The beauty is I only have to pay that 4% interest on whatever amount I'm actually utilizing out of that 7.7. .7. I'm not paying on this whole 7.7 .7 amount. If I choose to only use one or two, or $3 million, I'm only gonna be paying for as long as I want that, that interest on the amount that I take out. So this just opens a lot of doors. It opens up more flexibility. Ultimately having this line of credit allows me to get further ahead on a lot of, like right now with the clothing business, so much added unnecessary cost is we're, we're enduring so much of it because of the cost of shipping by air, because of the cost of just like production and be, being able to hit our timelines, right? But if we were to be able to order, you know, 12 months out, 14 months out, and we have time to get those items on sea, like on a boat instead of the plane and things like that, you're, you're talking dollars a unit now, which is insane. And just like this gives more flexibility in all aspects to be able to grow and be more efficient with the overall big picture. So grateful for the property. I can use the funds for the clothing, yes, but like though I can use it on the clothing, the clothing isn't what like got me this. This is all straight up the property. So when the old guy, <laughs> the old banker is like, you need to buy some property. You know, this is why they want money working for you. This is fucking why, okay? Assets are everything in this world. You need to be able to have something physical to show to the bank. This is actually here, it's tangible. It ain't going anywhere, it's here. That's what they like to see. And that's when you get, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was this whole like thing. Uh, I'm super excited, super grateful uh, for like the path that's been like, that's kind of getting laid out here. Uh, the next objective is to actually get lines of credit established for like other entities, for, for Alpha Eats, for like all the equipment in the gym, like all of those things can get these lines of credit and not that big, obviously that's the biggest one uh, was, would be the property, but we can establish more lines and uh, eventually have all of this money working for us without having to just like dish out our cash. So that's gonna wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys kind of understand this a little bit better. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Whew. Yeah. Thumbnail. I actually don't breathe. Whew. Underline or no?